Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm extremely excited about today because I am on a brand new property. I'm only 22 minutes away from my doorstep here in Southeast Texas. A landowner has reached out to us and asked us if we could help, con help control their feral hog population. They own between 50 and 100 acres and on two sides it has miles of national forest. So we were able to set up a feeder a blind and a trail camera. We did that about five weeks ago. And just now we're starting to get some consistent hog activity. So it is time. We are about to slide out there today. My arrow is tipped with a QAD Exodus 100 grain full broadhead. And we are going to be hunting out of a tripod. I have two different setups and this tripod is for a north wind setup. The wind is blowing from the feeder right into our face. There's two different groups of hogs that have been coming into this feeder. If we play our cards right, maybe we can have a chance at both of them. And while I have y'all here, I just want to thank you for all the love you've shown me on the giant hog video. Y'all really made this channel take off. And I am sincerely humbled by all the love you showed me in the comments, the likes, the shares. So I really appreciate it. And I'm going to work my tail off to bring y'all more consistent content. So thank you. Without any further ado, let's go head into the blind. We weren't set up not 10 or 12 minutes before that group of hogs came in. Uh, I feel like I put the arrow right where I wanted to uh, put it and I uh, see lots of red stuff on the ground. So, but we are going to hang tight because it is only 535 right now and uh, we still got almost two hours of daylight left and uh, I can hear the hogs in the background still. So, all right, we're going to see if we can double up. It's been about 15 or 20 months since we let that arrow fly and connect with that hog. I'm going to go down there and pick up that the arrow and bring it back up here in this tripod. It's been my experience that if that bigger boar comes in and he sees or smells that arrow in the feed area down there, then a lot of times they will just bolt out of here. Something about those bigger boars, they just have a sixth sense about them. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that arrow. I'm going to take my chances hopping down for two minutes that I don't bust anything off 
it is only uh, around six o'clock. So we're still 40 minutes before the next group of hogs has been showing up on camera. So, all right, cross your fingers. We can double up tonight. All right, it's been a couple hours and we are gonna go ahead and climb down from here and uh, get to tracking. Look like it should be a pretty easy job. So uh, I'll see y'all on the ground. All right, here's the point of impact. It's been a couple hours, so it's a little drier. Close, it's getting heavier. Oh, I see something. There he is. That's the exit. <coughs> and that's the entrance. All right, let's get him drug out of here and cleaned up. What an incredible day that was. I got to enjoy the first half of the day with my daughter watching her play varsity volleyball an hour away from home in College Station, make the drive all the way back and still had time to hunt. I am so thankful this opportunity fell into my lap to hunt this property so close to home. It's gonna be beneficial to both myself and the landowner. He wants these hogs eradicated off his property and we love to eat them. This guy is going to go in my slow cooker tonight. Matter of fact, that will be dinner for tomorrow. As you saw, these hogs came out about 10 to 12 minutes after I climbed up in the blind super quickly. The sow quartered away from me and I drilled the arrow in there exactly where I wanted to put it. She didn't go but 30 to 40 yards maximum. Left a good solid trail and uh, easy recovery. So if y'all enjoyed this hunt and you want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button down there. It's absolutely free, but it really helps me out. Ring that notification bell so you'll get a banner each time I drop a new video. And down in the comments, if y'all would like to see a certain broadhead tested out on these hogs, leave me a comment, leave some suggestions. I haven't shot a mechanical in over 10 years, but with some of this heavy cover here in this Southeast Texas thick piney woods, I'm interested in seeing something that'll leave a little heavier trail. So I'm wide open to recommendations. Leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see. I'm incredibly thankful for you joining me on this hunt and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.